Okay, so I'm about to create a page and within that page, I want to add a link for students to access an outside resource. Um, so I'm going to go through and fill it out like I normally would and show you the, the different ways that you can add a link. So the first way I'm going to do a link is an inline link. And so you're probably familiar with these from emails you've received or just various areas on the internet that have inline links. And all that means is that a word is going to be clickable and take you to a, a link on the website. So I'm going to do the owl and all I have to do is highlight what I want to be linked. I'm going to come up here and click inline link. Now it gives me a couple of options and I'm going to show you how to go through each of those. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drop the URL right here and I'm going to ask it to open the link in a new tab. Um, this way it navigates away from Schoology. Uh, the owl will exist on its own tab and the student will still have their Schoology page open so they can refer back to the assignment um, and get directions they need. So all I have to do is click on save changes. Now you'll notice that the color has changed, but the thing with links in Schoology is they don't stand out very well for me. I want, I want it to be obvious to the student that it's a link. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to make it bold, I'm going to underline it, and I'm going to come to this button right here to change the color. And I'm going to change it to a blue because that's generally what links are. Now that stands out a little bit more and I'll show you exactly what it looks like once we publish this page and what it would look like for the student. Okay, so that's an inline link. So I'm going to show you how another link would work and that's a resource link. So that's a resource from within your course in Schoology. So I'm going to do in class. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click everything that I want to be linked, come back up here, click that inline link again. And now I'm going to select course materials. Now, these are all of the materials that are in this course. So I can link to other assignments I've done. I can get into a folder. So in order to get into the folder itself, there's something in the folder I specifically want. I click the name. Now that's going to open up whatever else I have within there. So again, in the first nine weeks, there's something else I want specifically. Now here's all the stuff within the first nine weeks. Uh, if I click on week two, now I can get more and more specific. So maybe I want them to have access to this videos folder. So I clicked that radio button next to the videos folder. Now this tells me that the videos folder is going to be added. I need to come down and select, select. It's telling me it's going to take them to the videos folder. I click save changes. Now you'll notice the difference between these two links. This is the one that I changed the color of, and this is the one that I just made. So I'm going to go through, give it the same treatment. Now there's one more place that you can add a link and down here at the bottom, I can add the link here. It's going to tell me to put the link. So here we go. Give it a title. And then I'm going to attach. However, that link lives outside of this directions page. So it, it doesn't work as the inline does. It'll still take the students to the same place. They're not going to have any problems getting to it. It's just a different way to do the same thing. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like once that page is published. Okay, so now my page has been published. It's not very pretty because it's just some words, but you'll see how these links now stand out. And then this is how the link that I added at the very end comes across. So yeah, it's obvious it's a link because there's a chain there. But for me, these are the links that really stand out and really kind of pop. And especially when you have a lot of directions, it makes them stand out. Now, when the student clicks it, they're going to get this redirect notice. And anytime they are directed away from Schoology, that's going to pop up. That's just Schoology saying, hey, you're leaving Schoology whatever's out there is out there. So now I'm at the website. Okay. Now if I click on the resource, it's going to take me directly to that resource. And then if I click on the bottom link, I get the redirect notice again, and it takes me to the website. 
I just used the same URL for all of the links. So that's how you add a link to your page.